Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it is finally time to transform the engine bay in Letitia's Evo 10 MR. So yeah, if you watched my previous videos, you may have heard me say that this is the next goal for this car, is just to tidy up the engine bay a little bit. So we will be painting this valve cover, the fuel rail and the strut bar. Also have a coil cover for her. So I'll show you what I'll be doing today. So I have picked up a spare plastic valve cover. Now the car doesn't need to be driven, but I just have this sitting around. So I'm gonna just sort of place this on just to sort of um, keep the engine covered. Um, this is the carbon fiber coil cover off my car. <clears throat> I now have a new coil cover. So this one is going to go onto Letitia's car. But first, it will be going with the rest of the items to get painted. And I'm getting the clear redone on this because it's just been a DIY job by the guy that I bought it off. Um, hasn't really lasted too well. So this will get done. And also have a spare fuel rail here. So I'm not gonna be pulling the fuel rail off the car today because we already have this one. So I'll only have to do it once. So this one will get painted with the other pieces that we do pull off. And then once we get all those back with the new color, then I can remove this fuel rail and just put the new one on. So it saves doing it twice, basically. So yeah, with that all said, let's um, get started. And might start off on something easy and we'll pull the strut bar off first. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start off with removing the strut bar. So we've got ourselves a half inch with a 14 mil bit. So this should be enough. I mean, you could use a little tiny quarter inch, um, but it might be a little bit hard to undo. So yeah, step it up to this one. So you'll have three you need to undo on this side, two in the middle and three on the other side. So let's see how tight this one is. Not too bad at all. Now this one back here is usually hard to get. You can kind of start popping out these clips and getting to it. Um, I think I've found the easiest way is to just um, grab a different tool. So we'll just loosen these ones. So now we have all the bolts removed. There we go. Pieces off. So yeah, pretty easy to do. All right, so now easy part is done. Put the strut bar off. Now we need to remove this one. So first thing I'm going to do is number these four coil packs: um, one, two, three, and four and put a bit of like a bit of tape on them that's numbered. Just so once we remove these, we're going to unplug them, remove these 10 mil bolts and pull them out and get them out of the way. So that's definitely something that I recommend because yeah, you can just sort of pull them out, leave the plugs on and hang them over here somewhere, but uh, it's gonna be easier to do all this if we just have it out. All right, so as you can see, have numbered them. We can now unclip each coil We 
go. And then we can remove the 10 mil bolt. Ended up taking the inner cooler piping out of the way, so yeah, just had two clamps and then one for this blow-off valve piping. As this one connects in the blow-off valve, so yeah, normal. Most don't have that, but yeah, pretty easy. Pull that off. So now we can. Oh, and also got the catch can out of the way. So now, yeah, this is a bunch of a million 10 mil bolts to remove. I have the 10 mil on, yep. So you're gonna have these all the way around, all inside as well. So yeah, there's a lot of these. Make sure you do not lose any or damage any of these because you will need all of them to put your valve cover back on. But yeah, in the front, up either side and around the back, including the ones that hold this heat shield in. So yeah, I will keep removing these. Alright, so it looks like that is all of them. So, there we go. Can now lift that off, and it seems like I left a bolt there. So, now we have that off. Now we want to remove this gasket, as obviously we don't want to send this off to get painted and get damaged. So, let's put some gloves on, but it's going to peel this gasket off carefully as we want to reuse this one because this is basically brand new um, but when I did painted my valve cover that didn't have a new gasket I still reused it because it looked fine but if yours looks a bit damaged then yeah they're easy enough to find and not very expensive and worth replacing while you're doing it so I'm going to move this over here grab some gloves and I'll peel this off all right so here we are everything is removed so Got our valve cover off, gave it a quick wipe down, let the painters um, clean it up before they paint it. The original fuel rail that I had sitting around, obviously one still on the car, and the strut bar as well as the coil cover that they are going to re-clear for me, because you can see there's some spots where it's not the best, and I think that will really suit Letitia's engine bay well, being that she already has the carbon fiber APR tray. So yeah, and as you can see, I put the spare plastic valve cover I had, <clears throat> put the gasket in it and just sort of sat it in place. Didn't put any bolts or anything. So it's just sitting there, put the oil cap on and just sat the coils in. Um, and yeah, got some trusty old sandwich bags to seal up the intercooler piping where it's open, going into the turbo and into the intercooler. So now I'm thinking, 
close the bonnet up, this should be alright for a couple of days while it all gets painted, hopefully. Um, yeah, nothing's going to be falling down in there other than the bolt holes, which is fine. Um, so yeah, now it's time to throw all these pieces into my car and drop them off to the painter. Um, I'm not going to say the colour yet, so you guys can wait. It'll be a couple days for me, but obviously for you, through the magic of YouTube, you're going to see it pretty much straight away. So this may be a short ad break first. Alright guys, so, bit of an update. It's been about a week since I last filmed and removed all the parts. And so if you're ready, here is our freshly painted pieces. And they look good. Um, so, obviously, strut bar, valve cover, fuel rail, and then the carbon coil cover, which came off my car. So, yeah, couldn't be any happier with this colour that we ended up with. Um, so it's basically, I've got the light on there to try and show it, it's basically the factory colour, and then I've had the guys add a little bit more gold pearl to it. I basically just said, I want the factory colour on the car, and I just want this to pop a little bit more, so do what you can. Um, so yeah, this is what they ended up with. So this was um, their idea. So I just said, yeah, a little bit more pearl or metallic or whatever you can do to make it pop. And they've added a bit of gold. So it looks amazing in the sun. Um, yeah, really stoked with it. Definitely recommend these guys if you're wanting to get anything painted in the Brisbane area. Um, I'll see if they have Instagram. Not sure if they do, but I'll put a, a um, put it in the description. If not, I'll put their their info in the description so if you guys want to get some stuff painted you can hit them up um, but yeah so I was going to put the fuel rail on first but then I remembered to do that I need to sort of crank the car over a couple of times and get the last bit of fuel out of the injectors because I have to pull the injectors up um, and I don't really want to do that while I have the, the valve cover sitting on loosely so I might just put the valve cover and the strut bar on first and obviously the coil cover which is easy part and then I'll move on to the fuel rail so yeah, with that said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so small update. It's kind of powered through the first lot. So I've got the strut bar on, as you can see, and the valve cover. And I've also put all my coils back in, the four bolts and four plugs. And yeah, it is looking amazing. Um, didn't really film much of this process because it's already filmed taking them off. It's the same thing. The three bolts at either side of the strut, two in the middle, and then the however many there is all the way around and inside for the coil cover so yeah it looks really good what I'm about to do now is put this carbon fiber coil cover on and I just paused because I was trying to work out I've got some some of the JDM dress up bolts to go on so that's how it's going to look but I was trying to work out if I want to go with the red ones or the black ones. As you can see, I have a couple of each. And I did a quick test, and which I'll show you. So, I felt like the black was better on the carbon fiber. The red, let's just put one of each in to show you. So just off of that, I think the black is the winner. So yeah, let's get that in. And then also, I need to put my upper inner cooler piping back on, which will kind of finish the puzzle of how it sort of sat. Obviously we have the fuel rail still to go. But I just wanted to mention, I do have new not new, but I'm going to put my original um, clamps on there, which are the Worth clamps that I picked up from AK Racing a while ago. They're really good, and I was having constant, um, constantly having my my upper inner cooler piping pop off. So once I changed those clamps, it fixed the issue. Um, plus, they look a bit neater, I think, than these um, sort of T-bolt ones. So yeah, I have a bunch of those to put on, which should neaten everything up. So yeah, I'm going to get this coil cover on, but just to stand back and look at that, it's crazy how much of a difference the engine bay looks already. I mean, I'm 
yeah, that's going to look so good. So you yeah, still have the fuel rail to go. Um, come back to that, I think. May have to have a little break, go have some lunch. But yeah, very happy with that. So yeah, let me just get these couple of bolts in and might even just sort of gently place the intercooler on just so I can actually want to see how it all sort of looks somewhat together. So yeah, I'll keep going. All right, guys, so all finished up and here it is. So I didn't film pretty much any of the fuel rail, I don't think. My microphone stuffed up, so I just kept going. Um, but yeah, I was, just wanted to get it done, basically. But yeah, so fuel rail's in, which meant pulling the injectors out, swapping them over, and yeah, everything is finished. Intercooler piping back in. And yeah, I thought I'd come for a little drive down the road, get some sun on it. Um, probably not the best lighting, but yeah, it's all finished up now and I cannot believe how good this looks. It's a totally different engine bay. So like you should remember from the start, I'll probably put a little, little before and after overlay, I guess. So this is before and now this is after. So yeah, obviously we had just raw aluminium um, for the valve cover, fuel rail was all looking pretty blotchy and the black strut bar so yeah, as you can see now it's really got a lot of pop to it it's a totally different car like i said really now when you sort of could have the bonnet up like a car show or a car meet or something and it's actually worth looking at so yeah really happy with the job massive thanks to ahmed for painting it for me and yeah, Letitia actually hasn't seen it yet. She's at work, so she's... I sent her a little sneak peek photo, but she's definitely keen to get home and actually have a look at it in person. And I just, so all day when I've been putting it on, I've had lights sort of shining on it, and it's been like a really bright sort of orange red, kind of like the car goes, and now being in the shade, it's actually gone the really dark maroon, which is um, different. So yeah, it's putting a light on it. You can see how much pop there is to it. You move the light away. So yeah, I might move it out in the sun and get a few more shots. But yeah, couldn't be happier with this. So yeah, might if you guys want to see me do another fuel rail one, I'm going to redo my car. Um, so I might film that part again if you guys are interested in seeing how you remove the stock fuel rail. If you've bought a spare one to get painted or something, I'll try and do that video. But yeah, let me know if you want to see that. I just sort of rushed through it today, so. And here it is with a bit more sun. So yeah, colour completely changed. Not sure if it showed up on camera as well, but yeah, in person it's a lot different red now. And yeah, unfortunately the car's a bit dirty. Well, it's mainly just dusty from sitting for over a week, but you can kind of see that the colour flows really well. It just has a little bit more pop to it. I can see the sort of gold flecks really standing out when the sun hits it and the carbon is quite a few years old so it's not perfect but it looks a lot better than what it did so that really suits as well since I have the titanium one on my car now I just donated this to Letitia's car but yeah really happy with this kind of just could stare at it for quite a while pretty much is done now. I mean, there's a couple of little things that we'll do, but this just looks amazing. So yeah, I won't keep going on about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, definitely put a like down below. I really appreciate that. And if you have any comments or you just want to let me know what you think of the engine bay, definitely put those below because all comments and likes really help the video get shared by YouTube's algorithm. So that'd be appreciated. Yeah, if you want to see more of this car, my Evo 10 and some friends, Evo 10s and Rally Arts, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload a video every Wednesday and Sunday. And yeah, why not follow myself and Letitia on Instagram? I'll put both of our Instagrams up, especially if you want to see this car. I'll definitely give Letitia a follow. That is going to be it for today's video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. But until next time, I'll catch you later.